right, Bernice. Enough is enough. Why don't we just cut the crap and state the facts? You left Diana Fairgate at 6.30 and went over to CG's apartment. The no, two of you had a fight. Down. She refused to get an abortion. I'm tell you threatened her. You that only made her angrier. She wasn't going to let you off easy. And how you're responsible for the baby I'm carrying. No, see, that would make Diana very unhappy. Diana should be protected from you. She was going to tell everyone about her pregnancy. The Mackenzies, Gary Ewing. She was going to ruin everything for you. By this time, you were desperate. You saw a metal object. You had to stop her any way you could. And before you knew what was happening, you hit her over the head with it and you killed her. But you didn't panic. You found a plastic garbage bag and stuffed her body in it. You cleaned yourself in the bathroom, just like your mother was coming to visit. Then you took out the garbage and loaded it in the trunk of your car. You drove to the Vernon Beach Pier because you thought the place would be deserted. And then you took the bag with CG's dead body in it and carried it to the end of the pier. And then you dropped it over the edge. One was the bag breaking and C.G.'s body floating ashore. And the other was a witness at the Vernon Beach Pier who saw your car parked there at 8.15. Did they see me? C.G.'s body was washed up on shore less than a mile away. I guess the answer's no. You're just guessing, pal. You don't have a case against me. We got a damn good case against you, Fenice. Why don't you admit it? You killed C.G.? Your partner's got a lot of problems. 